What's up SEO Pro? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about making up to $2,500 a month changing SEO meta tags. Coming up. All right, so you might be wondering how the heck is this possible? And to be honest with you, it's probably one of the easiest things that I do for my clients and it actually leads to the biggest changes. You can see here on the screen, we have a $2,200 payment and over here we have a $300 payment and that's because we break these, these steps up into two different things. First, we start out with a meta tag audit and then we'll actually go and fix the meta tags for the 2200. So if you're interested in this type of stuff and you wanna see more of it in the future, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on this video and uh, let's not waste any time. We'll just get started right here. So first thing you wanna do is you want to understand what even an SEO meta tag is. What is a meta tag? So meta tags are tags that search engines read and some of these tags can consist of title tags, meta descriptions, open graph data, meta keywords, schema markup, and uh, title and alt tags for images. There are many different types of uh, alt tags that you can optimize, but what I'm gonna show you is actually which ones to focus on to get the biggest changes and to rank higher on Google so that the clients will wanna continue paying um, for your services. So uh, again, SEO meta tags are very simple. All you have to do to see what they look like is go to any website do a view page source, and you'll be able to look and see what some of these look like. So the title tag here, you can see, if we look and see some of this other stuff, um, we got OG data, we also got meta descriptions. So I'll explain all of these in more detail, but let's just first start by going and doing an audit. Now what I use for doing my audits is my own tool called Shine and this tool will be available actually by the end of today. So if you want to check it out, I will give you a link in the description of this video. And thank you for subscribing, Sachin, I guess that's the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a website that I want to figure out uh, what to do with. And so purityclinic.com is the website that we actually got the $2,500 for. So I'm gonna just enter that in and press start. The tool will start going and finding all the different pages on the website and it will tell me very soon whether or not the meta descriptions, meta titles, and some of the other elements are present on the website or if they're too long or too short. And so what I want to do is I want to figure out what do I need to optimize first, especially if there's hundreds of pages on a website, I need to be able to see a full overview of what's going on with that website. So once that's done running, I'll get a report that looks like this. And you can see here, it has the URLs, it has the meta descriptions, it has the title tags, it has the word counts, all that good stuff. And it'll highlight the things that aren't correct in red. So basically there's different things that you're gonna wanna do when optimizing these different tags. And if your tag is too long, then you can actually get a bad search result meaning that the search result will cut off. Or if it's too short, then you won't actually be filling up the full search result. And what I mean by this is every single, um, well, at least the meta description and the title tag, the way they work is that when you specify a title tag or meta description, it's actually what shows up on Google. So let's say I went to back to my website and I went to this title tag here and I wanted to change what this title tag said. Let's say instead of it saying chasehunter.com, I wanted it to say, get SEO help, because uh, let's say that's the keyword I wanted to target. I wanted to rank higher for that. Well, if I put that in my title tag, then Google is going to show that on their search results. For instance, if I type in Chase Reiner, it's gonna show what I put as my title tag on my website. That's And then my meta description, that's gonna show right here based on what I put in my description. So anything you specify, uh, should show up on the search engine. It's not always the case. Sometimes Google will pull different information, but for the most part, if you specify, 
the title tag meta description, that's what will show up. There's also other elements that you can manipulate on the search engines. Like for instance, if I were to put something called breadcrumbs on my website, meaning that if somebody were to navigate to a page and then there's actually a, a, a previous, like a back button, like go home, Google will show something like little, uh, uh, these things, these little arrows showing where you are on that actual website. But a lot of the things that you can change aren't going to necessarily lead to a higher ranking. I'm going to show you the ones that are going to give you the most bang for your buck. I'm not going to spend too much time going into the really, really technical. So the biggest changes that you, the big, the best things that you can do for a website is change the title tag and meta description to match what the keywords are for that website. And the way keywords work is every single page on this website site should have some sort of keyword. You can see this page is about uh, cancer treatment. This one is about pediatrics. This one's about IVs. And so I want to figure out what keywords do I want to rank for? And then how can I change my meta tags, like my title and my meta description to follow that? And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to do some keyword research. Now I have another tool that comes with this tool and what this other tool does is it will actually automatically find keywords for you based on who's already ranking. So if you've seen any of the other SEO tools out there, you'll know that you can actually plug in a URL into one of the tools like SEMrush or Ahrefs. There's tons of tools that do this and it'll show you everything that that website's ranking for. Well, instead of going and doing this one by one and doing it manually, I created a tool that will actually go and take 10 competitors at once just by entering a keyword. So I enter in a keyword, it'll find the top 10 people ranking for that and it'll tell me what keywords I need to rank for. So for instance, with the doctor, let's say I wanted to rank for a holistic doctor, what I could do is go here, type in, oh, have the insert key on Hi, type in holistic doctor and this by the way is just the back end there's uh, going to be a tool that's web-based that you just type in the keyword you don't have to do any of this command line stuff but i'll type in the keyword it'll go find all the people ranking for holistic doctor and i actually meant to do holistic doctor santa barbara so let me actually cancel this really quick let's do santa barbara And then this is going to give me a spreadsheet of all the different keywords that I want to rank for. And so this is actually really cool because once I figure out which keywords I need to rank for and I get a spreadsheet of all those keywords, I can change my titles and meta descriptions to match those keywords. And there's actually a really simple formula for doing this. I'll give you the formulas for everything, the titles, the descriptions, but the first thing is really just doing this audit that I'm showing you. And I charge about $300 to do this audit because what I'm doing in the audit is I'm finding all the different titles and metas that I need to change, whether they're you know below or above the certain ranges, like maybe they're missing meta descriptions, maybe they're too long. And then I'm going to actually assign a keyword to each of the pages on the website. Now, one thing I would recommend is actually take into account the pages that are actually receiving traffic. So if you don't have Google Analytics set up, I would recommend you set up Google Analytics on the site so you can actually see. But ideally, you would just take the top pages that are about one click down. For instance, you know this page, this page, they're only one click down in the website, uh, so, which means they're not like three la layers down. Generally, that means that they're more valuable pages. That's not always the case, but what you would do is you would take these more valuable pages and you would figure out which each what each of them need to rank for based on the keyword research. So here we can see, oh, I'm going to have to run that again because I had my Excel spreadsheet open. So that's going to run again. Uh, but while that runs, I'll just explain sort of the next stuff um, that you're going to look at. So let's talk about the basic title and meta description setup. So what you're going to do is f once you find a keyword that you want to rank a page for, the way you construct a title is really just the keyword and then the qualifier. And so what that means is that if I want to rank for web design or I want to rank for holistic doctor, my main keyword is going to be holistic doctor, which is going to be over here on the left. It's going to be the first thing people read. And then on the right is going to be the reason why people should click on my site and what they're, exp what they're expecting to click through to. So here we can see that with this finished, now we should have a list of keywords. Let's go to our CSV. 
So now we have all these keywords. It was able to pull about 1300 keywords, which is great. And then you can see here, this is a good keyword for us. Holistic doctor, naturopathic doctor, functional medicine. These are all great keywords. And so what we can do is we can take some of these keywords and we can actually assign them to our pages. So let's say for instance, with our holistic doctor, uh, right here where that one keyword is, uh, right there, naturopathic doctor or holistic doctor, we could take one of these keywords and see, do we have a page that is going to match this keyword? So if we go into our crawl that we just did somewhere around here, we'll be able to see if it, there is a page that currently matches the holistic doctor page. And one of the easiest ways to see is to just look at the titles. Is there a page that says anything about holistic doctor? So if we look in here and we see, okay, holistic doctor, we can do a search and we actually right there, contact our holistic doctor. So the contact page and then the home page. So now that we know there's a few pages that have holistic doctor in it, we want to figure out which page wants to rank for that. And so for us, we know it's the home page because that's the page that really says the most information about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign this keyword basically to the home page and we're going to say, all right, the home page is trying to rank for this, but do we have a page that's about naturopathic doctors? And you might be thinking, well, a holistic doctor and a naturopathic doctor are the same but the keywords are actually different. So we'd have a separate page for this. And then we'd go and see, okay, does the, does the naturopathic doctor exist on here? So I type in naturopath and there's naturopathic medicine, but there's actually no pages for naturopathic doctor. So then I know, okay, I need to build a page for that. So in terms of optimizing the titles or the meta, the meta tags, uh, we would figure out if we have the pages first and we would go and optimize based on the current data that we have. If we don't have the data, then we would go to step two and actually build the pages. So now that we kind of have an idea on what we're going to rank for, or we go through our, you know, titles and, uh, keywords, we would end up actually optimizing these. For instance, if we knew that we wanted to rank our, uh, homepage for naturopathic doctor, wherever this homepage went, if we knew that we wanted to rank our homepage for naturopathic doctor, we would make sure I'll just do it in the actual website. We would make sure that the title tag would have the format that I was explaining earlier. So holistic doctor, Santa Barbara, come visit us today. So that's like the qualifier, right? And that's probably the easiest way to rank this page right, right away. If all you have to do for most websites, as long as the content is somewhat unique and it has, and there is content there, but for instance, if we go and see that all of these different pages, uh, word counts are decent, like above 500, they're not in the red, simply just by changing the titles in the meta descriptions to match what the keywords are about is going to help it rank a lot higher. So we actually changed these keywords to holistic doctor. And within like one month, we were ranking number one, uh, mainly just by changing these titles. Also the description. So the meta description, we are some of the top rated holistic doctors in Santa Barbara. We also want to make sure that we have our keywords in there and some sort of qualifier. I believe in here, it should also say, come visit us today. It looks like it doesn't, we should say, we should say that in there as well. But when we have our keywords in the meta description and somebody types in holistic doctor, it'll actually bold those keywords. You can see here now it says holistic doctor Santa Barbara, and that's going to improve the amount of people who actually click on our search results. So it's very important to have your keyword in the title and in the meta description. Now, as far as some of this other stuff goes, and, and by the way, if you don't know how to change your title and your meta description on your website, it's generally pretty simple. It just depends on what content management system you're on. For instance, if you're on Squarespace, I would just go to Google and type in Squarespace change title and meta description. And I'm sure they'll have some simple tutorial that shows you how to do it in a couple seconds. Okay. So open graph data, open graph data is a little bit different than titles and metas because Google doesn't really read the open graph data as much as uh, 
social media platforms do. And the reason why you want to have open graph data is because you want to specify to social media what to actually share. So if I go into my search result or into my page right here and I look at OG title, OG description, those are the same things as the title and meta. You can see they have the same uh, attributes, the same content, they say the same thing, but I could actually specify this to say something else and this would actually say something else on social media than it would on Google. So for instance, if I go to something like the Facebook debugger tool and I put in my URL and it looks like I have to log into Facebook to use this now, I guess. it will pull whatever open graph data I have specified. And apparently Google does care about you having open graph data set up. So I would set this up on your site. You can see here it says holistic doctor and that's the image that's specified and that's the description. Most um, content management systems like WordPress and Squarespace will automatically take what you have in your titles and your metas and they'll stuff it into uh, your open graph data. Uh, it will also usually, most content management systems will also usually just take whatever image you have on your page, whatever your first image is, and they'll stuff it in as your image too. All right, so meta keywords. Meta keywords are something that's now deprecated. If you have meta keywords on your site, probably not necessary. These are things that Google used to have to use in order to understand what the website was about. So back in the day, you used to have to go into your website and then type in something like meta keywords equal, and then you would type in all the different keywords that you have. You don't have to do that anymore. Google doesn't look at those. So I would recommend just taking them out of your website if you have them. Our Shine tool, by the way, actually looks and sees if there are meta keywords on your website. And that might actually be in the new edition. But if you have meta keywords, it's not gonna really hurt you. It just probably isn't. I probably would just take them out because I don't want Google to think that my site's outdated. Schema markup. So this is something that we could go really in detail about, but I don't want to spend too much time on. Ideally, the different search engines at one point, like Yahoo, Bing, and Google came together and said, hey, let's create a, a language that we all understand, and it's called schema markup. And so you can specify a lot of data about your website with schema. And if you want a separate tutorial for this that's more in depth, let me know. But for instance, if I wanted to say that my homepage was a page about doctors, I could do that with schema markup. And what that actually looks like is if I go to a tool called the Structured Data Testing Tool, it will show me by putting in the URL what sort of schema markup is actually on this page. So you can see it says it's a local business. For some reason, it's not set up correctly, and that's probably because Squarespace isn't really set up well for schema markup. WordPress is a lot better when you're trying to go and do schema markup. But again, I'm not going to go too far in detail on how to do this stuff because it's going to take a lot of time, and I found that Actually, this does the most progress, changing your titles and meta descriptions, and Schema Markup only gives you a very little boost. Uh, title and alt tags, that's really just for your images. So screen readers and people that are blind aren't going to be able to know what this is if they can't see it. So you want to actually specify with an alt tag what this is about. And so this is supposed to help you rank higher by putting alt tags in your images. And Google reads the alt tags as well. Uh, you would simply just say something like front of office at Purity Clinic. So they, so the Google and the, and the blind people that are on the website know what this is, what the picture is. But again, focus on the three things I told you in the beginning. Do the audit, find the keywords that the pages should rank for, and then assign the keywords and change the titles and meta descriptions to match those. And if you do that for the top 10 pages on the website, you, you're going to be extremely, uh, well, the clients will be very happy because they're going to see that they're going to start ranking for things very quickly as long as they have some content. And uh, again, that's not the only thing that you're going to want to do for SEO, but these I found, if you could even just focus on these three things, finding the keywords, changing the titles and metas to match them. And uh, that's going to be worth, pro it sounds crazy, but it's going to be worth thousands of dollars to the client because what's going to happen is if they can even rank for one keyword and start bringing in an extra 20 or 40 leads a month, uh, generally, it's well worth over what they're paying. So if you want to get access to any of this stuff, just go to chasefinder.com, enter your email, you can get access to my tools, you can get access to my starter kit, you can get access to everything. Right now, it's only a dollar to try all this stuff out. If you don't like it, I'll refund your dollar. And that's it. So thank you for joining, and we'll see you all next time. Until we do, happy SEOing. See you guys. Bye.